Hi, my name is Orlando Rikiki. I uh, run and manage a company called Rikiki Euro Truck Spares. We're a national company, we do truck parts. We've got footprints here in Perth, Sydney and Brisbane. And I uh, just want to tell you a little bit about the, the coaching program I'm on. I've uh, been doing it for just over 12 months with a, a guy by the name of Jeff Miles, who's quite a taskmaster. Um, but uh, I think the rewards that I've got out of them are quite invaluable. Uh, it hasn't been easy, it's been quite difficult at times, um, but I've had a lot of good systems um, that I've been able to use. Some of them have been recruiting, uh, and I've been able to do a lot better job in hiring employees uh, as opposed to what I've done in the past and getting the right ones. So that's been quite helpful. Um, we do a lot of uh, financial management, which has been good, so we've been keeping on top of that. Um, How often do you review your financials? Every month. Um, so we'll look at uh, month by month how we go, how we're doing, what it needs improvement um, and where we can apply those improvements. Um, we've got a good uh, board that we um, go through the financial meeting with um, and we also talk about strategic uh, implementations, what, what do we need to do and what plans that we have going for uh, the future. Hmm. And what would be the biggest thing that comes out of the coaching program as far as um, bottom line results? <laughs> Um, well, there's definitely an improvement. Um, we're probably going through quite a quite a large change in the company, so um, you know the improvements will come. Um, been a little bit slow with uh, financial improvements, but uh, in terms of the uh, core of the staff, it's been a lot better. Um, so we're now starting to move towards where the financial return will come. Do you think that the business coaching program is structured or unstructured? No, it's very structured. Um, there's a lot of uh, formats, templates, um, plans. Uh, there's a lot of good processes that uh, can be used, um, just finding the time to use them, but mm -hmm. they are very, very good. Uh, you'd be surprised exactly how much you sort of pick up and learn and realise that as a business owner or a business manager, what you are doing and what you could be doing are very far apart. How available is the your business coach? Yeah, unfortunately, he's way too available. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't had a problem uh, getting a hold of him, chatting to him by phone. Um, he does have a lot of time for you, um, face to face time, which is good. Um, no, yeah, it, as far as terms of being able to, to chat to him. If I want to chat to him any time of the day, he's pretty much yeah. Um, if I don't get, a, get him straight away, he'll ring me back. So there's never an issue getting a hold of him. Um, and when you do spend an hour or two, you know, going through some sort of coaching uh, material, the issue is then trying to find the, the three or four hours time outside of going through it and, and, and working on it. Because it's not just about coaching, it's about keeping it up and keep taking it forward and, and carrying on from there. Hmm. Would you say that business coaching is for every business owner? Uh, probably not. The problem with business, business coaching is you want to have to change, you want to have to improve, and if you're not willing to improve and accept help for improving, then you're not going to want a business coach. You won't do it. You won't, you won't take on... Uh, the advice and you won't follow the, the you know, so there are, no, you, you need to want to change and you need to want to improve. Orlando, thank you very much. Thank you.